You know, basic needs, poverty line values, you know, a lot of people think, well, poverty analysis, you know, so what, basic needs, poverty line. Well, may I tell you that we have somebody sitting here in front of us today, Father Kevin Barr, who has been trying to use the basic needs, poverty line values for his work, trying to improve the wages for those who are not represented by unions. He will talk later in the day and he'll explain it. But it's very important to understand where these basic needs, poverty line values come from. There are two components there. One is the food poverty line and one is the non-food. The food poverty line at the end of the report there, it gives you a basket of foods and you can look at it. It's based on basically the, 30, the third decile of people in PG, which is what the 30% group sort of you know, consume. And you can look at the, the quantities, you can look at the foods and ask yourself, is this excessive? Because if it's not excessive and it's a reasonable basket of foods, then whatever it costs, it goes into the cost of living of workers, and therefore it is justified to use them. If you think it's excessive, then you ask yourself how your family would be able to survive you know, if you reduced any of those quantities in there for meat or fish or vegetables or sausages or whatever. Right? Now, unfortunately for, for the poorest <coughs> people in Fiji, food prices you know, rose by a much higher percentage, 36%, 34% in Fiji in this period we're looking at than the CPI. In other words, the cost of living really, really went up because when prices rise in food, then you are really going to suffer if you are below the poverty line. So, you know, we've got values, uh, going to the next one, we've got values for the basic needs poverty line. And I'm, I'm putting in a comparison there with the World Bank estimates. And the World Bank used a very, very different methodology to derive their basic needs poverty lines. I don't particularly agree with the method, but, you know, we came up to pretty much the same uh, uh, values. And remember, this is for 2008-9, that is three years ago already, mm -hmm. right? And we're looking at wage rates of $4.60, $4.50 $4 an hour, pretty close together. Per week, those are the values, and per year, it's about 9,500, 9,300. And I think Father Bai has been trying to actually get wage rates up to way, way less than that, and he hasn't succeeded. I'm sure he will, he will tell you later on. But these basic needs poverty line values appear high, and they appear high only because of one reason, which is that in the last six years or so, the economy has totally stagnated, and therefore, it has not been possible to raise GDP per capita, so it's not been possible to raise the wages council's rates. You know, when the economy is stagnating, as I said so many times to Father Bar, you're going to have an uphill battle, because the employees will always be able to tell, tell the minister, I'm sorry, the economy is not doing well, let's exercise up some restraint, and I'm sure you've already seen the statement in the papers, you know, yesterday and today, and of course you'll have seen that Father Bar has resigned after six years of working. 